Hello, I am back with some more Listen with Rachel. I am reading from my new book, Magnificent Midlife, Transform Your Middle Years, Menopause and Beyond, which is a very exciting book and perfect for the midlife woman in your life as a festive gift. So I am reading today, I'm going to need to put my specs on, right, so I can see what's going on. So I am reading from the section on finding inspiration for changing beliefs. And I'm going to read today about ageism and the West. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. Newsflash. Western ageing norms are not universal. Yes, really. Getting older and older people themselves are viewed very differently depending on where you are in the world. Even within Western nations, there, is, there are huge differences in how societies view ageing and their older populations. Arianna Huffington has written in her book on becoming fearless about how old age is honoured and celebrated in Greece. Elders take pride of place in the family. Abbots and abbesses are addressed as old man and old woman, which are terms of deep respect, not dismissal. I long had a theory that there's something particular about Anglo-Saxon culture that worships youth. I see this most acutely in the US, UK and Australia. I had no idea why this was the case, but while researching for this book, I found an article that suggests my own youth-centric British culture, emphasising attributes such as individualism and independence, has its roots in Protestantism. This viewpoint relates to the Protestant work ethic, which ties an individual's value to her or his ability to work, something that is thought to diminish with age. This philosophy doesn't appear to have moved with the times or with increased life expectancy, not to mention improvements in long-term physical health and the length of time many older people are still in work. This link to Protestantism could explain why we don't tend to see the same degree of ageism in Western countries that do not have Protestant history, such as Italy, France, Greece and Spain. In these countries, older people and older women especially appear to have more status than in my own. I thought this was absolutely fascinating when I looked into this and um, anecdotally, it does seem to stack up because while in other cultures it, there's, there's obviously a breakdown between how women, older women are perceived in the workplace and how they are perceived in the home because often they still struggle in the workplace, women struggle in the workplace, women struggle to, to have status in the workplace, I mean in particular older women struggle to have status, but at home women don't. So at home, for example, Chinese women and Indian women, they get more status the older they get rather than less. So I thought this is really interesting. And also, if you look in Catholic countries, there are more older women in public life. There are older women who are on the television presenting the news, for example, and you just don't see that here in the UK. Or if you do see it, the women don't look like older women they look like younger women because <laughs> they've had all the treatment, they dyed the hair, had the Botox, etc. to make them all look younger. So I think it's interesting. So we should not assume that just because we have always been taught that ageing is bad and that being an older woman you lose your value and you become irrelevant, it's just not true. So this is what I'm trying to do with my book is change all of these negative narratives. So I have a festive book giveaway going on this week on the book. Um, it's on the ebook or the audio book. So if you look on my Instagram grid or on my Facebook page, Magnificent Midlife on Facebook, if you follow the criteria there, I think you like Magnificent Midlife and then um, tag somebody in the comments and then by tagging somebody you will be entered in the draw and then hopefully the person that you tag will tag somebody else who can also be entered into the draw. So there's five copies of the book to be won and the draw will be closing on Friday this week. Okay, so get, look at the grid 
and uh, join in my festive book giveaway for Magnificent Midlife, Transform Your Middle Years, Menopause and Beyond. And I hope you really enjoy it. And the audiobook is narrated by me and you can download it and listen on a free app called Book Funnel, which I have found out about, which is just amazing. It's so super easy. It's brilliant. So yeah, so there you go. So thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this little snippet on ageism and the West and the fact that we don't need to assume that just because we've been taught all these things that they are true, because they're not. It's only in our countries that they are, or in the West, where I don't know, wherever you might be, but maybe, maybe you have a different experience of ageism and older women. If you do, leave me a comment below and let me know. Thanks for hanging out. Cheers then. Bye.